Gotta love the metal, eh? For a brand new season, welcome to book five, the first to strike of the Star Wars Saga Edition Dawn of Defiance campaign. We are the We Shot First podcast. Yeah, we've come full circle. Book five is the first to strike. That's his title. And we're called the We Shot First. We come full circle. We've come full circle in so many things. So without any banter, because there was lots of banter in the last two episodes, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna jump we're gonna jump right in on the windy dark force scorched grasslands of Almus at a ruin of an ancient Jedi temple site that has recently collapsed emerging from a fissure burning a destiny point Merrick the mercenary triumphantly survives what would have killed any mere mortal near human in his suit or in his circumstance with some awesome piloting roles he has baggage with him Unconscious baggage, lightsaberless, unconscious baggage, saved from a cavern. Like, and he's there's a name tag. It keeps keeps flipping from Skeel Ali Da to Poser in the wind. Who knows? Sticks the landing. And I believe the last thing we had our players do was Doctor Leth rushed over to examine the patient. Doctor Leth. Yes. Um. Can I have a treat injury check? Check for vitals. Certainly. Now, keeping this story first and game mechanic second. True game mechanic, but game mechanic second. That is a 13 on the die for 28. Very nice. He is barely stable, incredibly weak, and could not possibly see the end of this day immediate medical treatment is required to get this guy stabilized safely the ship is a little ways away and moving him after that ordeal of emerging through rubble i mean you saw him fall into the chasm you thought he was gone you were ready to take the bigger bunk room that he always hogged on the ship no here he is they're all watching you so, be, and you know, Nurse Rahal has enough training now that you can't sort of oopsie with a scalpel and gain that bunk room. So, you got to give it your all. <laughs> Time for nah. what? Surgery? Force point? Just cover his mouth and say, sorry, guys, it's too late. What do you want to do? Uh, that would be quite problematic for me, especially considering the various other data points I would lose if I did lose him. Um, in such case, we must immediately begin surgery. Unfortunately, I don't believe I have my full surgery kit with me, so this will be entertaining to say the least. Okay. Now, you guys had a surgical med bay down the temple, but you do have, like, med kit or tools? Do you have your kit? Oh, yes. I do have a, a, a basic med kit. I do not currently have a completed surgery kit, as that's usually shared between myself and R4. Okay. And where is R4 present? On the ship. Do you want him to? Do you want to call him up and have him fly the ship over here, or it'll be too late? Uh, that might take a little bit of time. Um, I could probably make use of what I have on me currently, and then perhaps with a bit of ingenuity, make some other materials around here work. Okay. Pause you there. Let's talk about improvising tools. Or if you want to look up med kit tools versus surgery, and then we'll talk about reviving. Under treat injury and surgery. You want to talk about that? I believe if you do not have a surgery kit, the surgery, I think penalty? it's a plus five. Do the kits the give you pluses or does not having a kit give you a negative? I'm checking that now. Little side bit. I've gone five and a half minutes with no rules lawyers interrupting. And just, I'm just, I'm asking open baited questions to one player. Just to see these guys writhing in their seats. <laughs> Would you like to phone a fridge, friend Jay? <laughs> uh, it does say that it requires a surgery kit. Okay. Um, under reviving someone. Yes. I can put him in a force trance. Do you want to do that? I mean, Leth is there working, but if you want to go up and just like stick a toe up there and. 
I mean, I can revivify without a surgery kit. It has been a couple episodes before one of Matt's characters fell to his knees screaming no at the loss of something or almost lost of something. So yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> other 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 podcast other podcast people other podcast. Yeah, we're talking about other podcasts. Uh, Aiden, can you uh, fill me in on the mechanic for that? Because I'm not 100 percent sure. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Six minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh, you are asking a lot of me right now. I was expecting to be dead. You know, I mean, so. if he is stable and unconscious already, we don't actually need to do anything to him. But we just get him back to the ship. He burned a force point down in the cavern to stabilize. And then he was like, it was a very rough ride. He may not make it. He a lot of these. A lot of this beating and battering wasn't from the fall, was from Merrick's gentle trip up. <laughs> sure, he cut a hole with the rocks and could deflect things with his shields and went his armor oh, and tried to oh, hold. It was, it was not nice at all. I turned the shields off halfway because I like the bumps. <laughs> <laughs> Merrick is literally there eating a sandwich from his med pack, just waiting to see the results of said. It's, 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 no, <laughs> it's not time. bad. It's not bad, you know? <laughs> that would make me good. Hey man, you did your part. You saved the day. You saved the guy. It's now it's in the doctor's hands, right? Hey, it's, you it, know it's Miller what? time. For 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 guy who stands around. So in that twenty, for you use the force of thirty-eight to time? put Aiden no, into a or to put uh, skill oh. into a force trance. Hang on a second, Matt. I want to hear the last. I want to hear Merrick's excuse. He was mid rant no, no, no. there. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. He he needs rest. Let them sleep. Okay. He's fine. So. so so by force trance, you mean force coma, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's slipping Sleep. away, doctor. <laughs> now we're not going to know. You meat bags are so fragile. Oh, that's well, a bug. I must address that one. Mer Mer you, Mer Mer you know, hey, right? You, you, know what for, you, you guys say force coma. You know what I hear? Cutscene. <laughs> Aiden. Yes. You want do you, rem do you remember season two, episode four, the Poser Christmas special? Uh, I remember being tossed around the sewers by a wave of unmentionable fluids. Okay, well, maybe uh, that, maybe that I, like I that trauma, that trauma that. blocked out. You were on Aquarius, and the guys were getting a ship, and you got into the sewers, and you met this force-using druid crustacean who, after a great round of singing under the sea, and a really good performance by Alex. Thank you. What's his last name? I don't know. No, Trebek? I don't think last name's on the phone. <laughs> great performance by Aiden's friend Alex. You know, shout out to the Clinton's Core podcast. Um, did Alec make it to the end of your pod? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I okay. think they're on to a cyberpunk, I think. Okay. Or Shadowrun. I thought. Mm. Um, Frank introduced me to Clinton, his DM former buddy in real life. We brought in Aiden and the, the great chemistry between... Uh, anyway, anyway, I, I digress. Um, season 2, episode 4, I believe... The 43 minute mark. I'm just guesstimating, but around the 40. Now, if you want to enjoy Frank's bit, go to 36 minutes, but around the 43 minute it, mark. It, it's worth it to go back for Frank's bit. <laughs> we had we had done a parody on the Christmas Carol or my favorite movie, Scrooged, Bill Murray's Christmas Carol. And we cast our sniper as death. And instead of a big death robe, he was running around that ghillie suit, the underwater ghillie suit. Um, throws him through an imaginary blast door. Now, if you've seen Stranger Things, you know that sort of dark plane of inch water thin awareness that they put the psychic girl in, and then people just appear as she psychically projects to them, right? This is the plane that Skeel returns to, and there's that door. And because this had happened in the past, it was possibly a forced vision of his future. He saw... Dr. Leth talking to him about certain things like he was on his way out, like he was reflecting on the young man's life, like possibly there was nothing else he could do in that you can hear the real world mono speaker from above. 
something about Rahal saying for something something Trance got this and now Leth is complaining that if he puts him that far under he might not be able to get him back and with those words the door comes zooming at you and you are in your body looking up at Leth the one on this ship that I could actually stand You know, it's annoying. Every time... I mean, I keep telling him to use an actual weapon. He finally does, and he gets himself nearly killed. Perhaps he should just... I don't know, perhaps we should keep our little Siri in a secret and hide him away. No, that would be problematic in multiple fronts. Well, nevertheless, it's a bit late now. These lamentations are coming through like the high school mono speaker at you, Skeel, while you lie there <laughs> and and you this shadowy you know you know you see the surgeon view in movies, they have the bright lights and the guys in masks, so you you can tell he's on an operating table, but you can't really tell who's working on you. There's right, like, right. There's a white haired the blurb silhouettes. Yeah, there's a white haired blurb, and then there's like a blue fedora blurb wearing a killer nurse outfit. I don't know, they're working on you. Aiden, a force point to stabilize, but looking back at some of the rubble and everything, going back over taking you to that point. That was brutal. Yeah. Would you like me to reveal the damage <laughs> that Mr. I think I'll turn my shields off for fun because I like bumps. Or would you uh, <clears throat> like I, possibly I cut would, to a I would like to spend a destiny point. Oh, uh, really? My, my, oh, hey. You know, that's, that's not bad. All right. Suddenly the scene does that um, sucked into a black hole, like right into his eye and into his mouth as he suddenly, you know, <gasps> yep. Oh, oh, I, oh can, where, where, where? Don't, be, where? don't be opening your mouth so much. Question. Ah. Can you take yourself out of a force trance? Somebody else puts you in. Do you have to beat his 38 on the use of force roll? Uh, can I use a force check? Bring it, kid. <laughs> I've been waiting years for this. <laughs> he's literally doing the... Using the force instead of a dagger, he's doing the... Shh, shh, shh. Stay down. <laughs> I'll be the Jedi. He's already got the girl. Uh, would I be at the, the level on the condition track where I, where I was before I went down? Uh, that is a good question. Yeah, I guess so. Matt, did you make your roll with your negatives? You, you feel strong, Aiden. You feel. Oh damn no, I strong. didn't. I did not. Sorry. What, so that what, would what? be. Um, that be would be. No, that makes no difference because <laughs> I'm at an odd level, uh, an odd number. So it's it's the same. What? It's the same. Doesn't change. What do you mean? Like, if you're down the condition track, negative one, it'd be negative one, negative two, negative five. Oh, am I down the condition track still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so then no, I didn't. So that'll be negative one. So 37. Okay, there you go, Aiden. <laughs> 21. Would you like to use a force point? <laughs> uh, I think Doug, that dusty point I think would be included in my use or check to honor you, you, you can blame Doug for me singing that question to you guys for the rest of the season <laughs> that's fair no that's 1000% fair <laughs> see Merrick's down <laughs> I don't mind it at all you fight to surface now i will uh, say this does actually say that you cannot bring yourself out of a force yeah no i'm sure you uh, could <laughs> you I, I think this sounds so much You're better considered if it's helpless. another force user it's... using a use the force to come yeah, out no, of it on their own Jay seems so you totally can't, you can't take yourself out of it okay i now, will say this no. i will say this cannot be placed in a force trance so you yeah, can yeah, that's true. He would wake up out of a force trance as a swift action, but the target oh, cannot otherwise come out of the force trance on his or her own will. Okay, but I will say this: deep, deep down under, right? You wake up, and it's like the multi levels of Matrix or Insurgents. You just come up a level, right? <laughs> right. So you wake up, you sit up, you're on Elmus. And there's the temple ruins and the wind, but it's bare. There's no friends. There's no. You're just sitting there. 
And again, you hear the the mono speaker debate of, you know, Rahal and them talking about, you know, what to do with you. <laughs> nope. Oh, crap. <laughs> Here we go again. Welcome to your own WandaVision. Uh, Aiden, what would you do? Because I do have a saving grace here for Matt, but I need some stimulus from you. What do I do at this point? What would you do uh, if you're trapped on a yet another limbo? You feel like you're surfacing, but it's more like you have become fully aware and control of what you're dreaming or what this force is doing to you in your coma, but you're still locked behind the wall of the unconscious body. Um, I think I try to reach out towards the voices with okay. use the force. Even try and Dina, echo bounce it. Even Dina reached out with the force while in a coma. So, give me a ping, if you please. Twenty-three. Matt, can I have a so use I- the force? I feel the. Oh yeah, do I feel his ping? Oh, I want to hear a force. Oh, I want to use the force. Now, instead of like trying to cover it, I want you to beat twenty three in order to sense it. Thirty six. Thirty okay. five. You put him in a trance. You're talking with Loth about his condition, right? And he doesn't move. He becomes that inner calm. You know, like on autopilot, the arms come up into the mummy position, folded. You know, he's gonna he's gonna regenerate all this stuff, and yet there is that soft coming in wailing guitar riff sonic sense of a vibration coming off of his body like he's pinging whoa 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 shut up doc what the heck was that all right i'll stop with would the you, force trancing what would you would you like to get a better bunk and and uh just you know <laughs> Be the Jedi character because I'm only a, if you if you have to decide to take a level, you guys are about to level. You know, like if you want to level nine, if you want to make that level Jedi, you know, shush is the word. <laughs> everybody, everybody has a backup character. I mean, he it was a good go for Poser, but he finally put on the robes and he pulled out the lightsaber and his first darky. What dark side do? What happens? I mean, I just maybe someone could do it better. <laughs> are you that guy? I just gotta explore all our options here. Up all up in your head here, Raul. You know. Might cut into your business time, your romantic life with Dina. Well, he doesn't take a salary. He's free help. Jedi oh, okay. are great like that. <laughs> okay. Decision made then. Cheap slave labor. And cue Aiden waking up in real life because Matt pulls him out of it. There we go. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, no, wait, Jake, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. No, no, no. You've. Rahal. Yes. So, so strong. It's his pull. When you reach down, he's pulled you down to his level. Now the two of you are on this plain straight escape of Elmas. <laughs> oh, Le- Leth Rahal falls over like he just had an aneurysm. He just collapses right on top of him. <laughs> Oopsie. Face down, ass up. <laughs> I can literally see that the hand straight back, pin straight suit, fan yeah. in there. You know, his his hat for the first time the campaign. Trans myself. Ah, crap! Did I screw that up, man? I'm new at this. What it are you doing? The crooked face. What is going on? I, I was trying to put you into a forced trance. You, you, you're pretty beat up, kid. We didn't know if he was going to make it. Leave it up to the doctor. We haven't gone over any of this. <laughs> no, no, Master Dina taught me. Show me a few tricks. Nine Although we did some other stuff when we was in this place. Anyways, uh, <laughs> how do I get out of here? <laughs> just, just will yourself out of it. It's not difficult. I can't at the moment. Uh, oh, okay. Two fingers to the forehead. Okay. <laughs> Use the force to get out. Okay. He starts fading away in front of you and leaving your ass here, Poser. What do you want? 21. <laughs> 21. I'm going to grab on to him and try and ride him out. <laughs> you got to beat Pardon? your old check, dude. <laughs> you need to beat 36. You need to beat the check that brought you here. Now, uh, Aiden can aid another. And I would suggest some force point use, boys. <laughs> oh, uh, dude. No, no, no. Oh, my. No, it's <laughs> 23. On this one. No amount of force point gonna play out of here. Okay, so he starts Am fading I- away, and yeah. <laughs> Focus. Oh, use the Schwartz force, something like that. It's a skill challenge. 
So yes, te- technically, if someone <laughs> is unconscious, oh. they're not at negative ten. Oh. If someone is unconscious, they don't take the full negative 10. It's a step below if you notice the negatives go away when you're fully unconscious. That's the old argument of technically dead's a condition, and I can just get back up because it's just a condition. Anyway, I haven't been penalizing his rolls. Oh, I've, I've had myself at helpless, which has the penalties. I don't know. Why did we hire this guy? It's still early in the season, Doug, before you get into that. To <laughs> start rolling on me here. Well, I got myself out. 30, 37. Yoink! <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to take him with you? Yeah. Okay. The two of them wake up. Okay. <gasps> okay. Um, there is a little... Sits bo- back, wipes the no, jewel it's, off his it's, face. It's, it's, it's that was night- trippy. It's nighttime. A little bonfire going with the squibs. They're like, they're roasting stuff they caught. Like, you guys are just off to the side folded up together like you know you're on your own <laughs> they got them into it we have no other force users to get them out <laughs> they've made you comfortable spooning i don't know what <laughs> hours later <laughs> it is an appreciable time later this is not a 10 minute ride in the time you guys were gone what would you guys want to do if these guys are out for like a couple hours what would the what would the three of you guys want to do with the bodies i mean the characters <laughs> <laughs> First thing would be getting them back onto the ship. So Get them over to the ravine. Uh, surgery. Yeah. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> no. I'm the leader now. Come on. The pro- this is how you get promoted during war times. Yeek. No. All right. <laughs> Who wants a promotion during war times? Uh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. I'm not war anymore. Ooh. You lost. Um, Rahal does. Take a class system. <laughs> Rahal <laughs> does. <laughs> yeah. Ten percent. Uh. <laughs> Doctor, Sorry, doctor, he, he's not looking too well. Jay. No, neither of them are. <laughs> yeah, America Jay kind of like, I feel like... These two are your meal ticket, right? So, <laughs> I feel like they're not looking so well, but I, I also... Part of me just feels like it's their own fault. <laughs> you know, a bottle episode without the two stars does intrigue me. What do you guys do with the two? <laughs> Who knows who would go this uh, way? <laughs> uh, like I said, the first thing I would be doing is trying to get them back onto the ship. Okay, would you like to bring the ship here? I mean, probably. You guys could drive to the ship, or, or Arthur could ship. fly, right? Okay. So you call up Arthur on the cons, comms. Mm. No response. We try him for several minutes, and then what? Um, that's annoying. Is that an, is that strange, uh, dark thing messing with uh, messing with sensors still? Could I try to uh, could I try to like use a sensor to find the ship? Sure. And you check with Merrick and um, TLX that you know had glitches. You know, I'm hmm. assuming you guys are like at this point like recounting tales of the loop, hmm. right? So what do you guys want to do? I don't know. It was really trippy down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like type of thing. No, uh, scans as well. Now you still have that one kilometer dark side radius of scorched earth, like, it feels cold and trippy, but it's way better than down in the hole, like, so Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's like you feel like you're standing in front of an open fridge door, which is great compared to the freezer you just came out of Gotcha. Right? Yeah Fair So scanners are good Speaking of scanning Um, Can I I scan the ship? Sure You're you're you're, You're picking up something ships plural because technically you had the z95s on the carousel hmm so they are still okay well i guess we should probably make our way back to where the ship was parked okay you guys head out there do you want to fly america ahead with some recon or hmm well, actually, I guess you kind of need Merrick to, like, carry them. He did such a great job with Poser earlier. <laughs> well, that and PLXS can also carry them. Sure. With those little tiny Dysar arms. Yep. That's what they're there for. Nice they're close cargo. hug. Actually, you can see him carrying Rahal, and then the little arms, like, have his hat, and it's brushing it clean. Just, <laughs> the big arms are carrying Rahal, and the little ones are, you know. No, they're styling the hair and, like, giving it a clean shave. Actually, you know, that hat has never come off. You guys have never seen it. It's like it's glued on his head or something. It's never come off. I've never seen him without his hat. 
Even when he was like doing that lounge naked thing, it, the hat was still there. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Never let that hat. Have to get to that. Wait, what about on Felucia when he almost died? Did he still have the hat? Yep. Uh, his his head ducked into to his collar. I'm not, not sure. What... <laughs> like a turtle. That's how he didn't die. The head, the hat was still there. Yeah, really. <laughs> um. Or he does the as the one coming off before you see his head. The 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 stormtrooper helmet comes up from the bottom and look, bloop. There you go. <laughs> yeah. What are the guys? You know that kind of thing. You know? Then the hat exactly goes back it. on the stormtrooper helmet. Yeah, we have bets that he's actually bald, or there's horns, or who knows what. It was a modified stormtrooper helmet. It actually had the fedora. Nah. <laughs> he built it <laughs> in. Yeah. Only Dinia knows. Trapesing the former companions. We don't. You don't know if you're going to survive. Ignore all that meta. No meta gaming. Everything I've told them. You have no idea. You know. One's in a coma. I'll put him in a force trance. Then we argue that this is best for him. And then you check him for amorism. No, he's just in a coma too. Okay, well, I guess they're in cycling zen sleep mode. Dr. Leth, what can you do, right? Let's go back to the ship. March, who is the default commander? I'm assuming it's Leth because he owns half the ship. Yeah, I'd say like that's If, if we don't have Rahal's leadership and, and, and sort of Aiden's sort of our force specialist on the side, right? Like, if we're in a battle situation, I'm assuming it's Merrick. If we're in a civilian situation of what do we do next, what's the plan, I'm assuming it's Leth, or... Well, yeah. it would probably be... It would only really be me if there was injured involved, and we currently have injured that we're dealing with, so... Fair point. <clears throat> you slept them back to the ship. and Plus, what you, you can always count on Leth to make the rational decisions. What you find is hard to process. A whole bunch of metal and scrap is where the ship used to be and then turning your head sideways there's a Z95 on its back there's a Z95 still attached to the carousel on its butt end straight up in the air like a Christmas tree there is panels back to tank computer units a whole bunch of technical crap all just strewn like Somebody opened the back of a great big military cargo bay door and yeeted a whole bunch of your crap out onto the planet's surface. And no, Archelon. Oh, there's R4. Laying there. No lights on. Hmm. Well, if I'm not mistaken, the only one left on the ship was Haas, correct? And R4. And R4. Well, R4 is still here, so... Those are the only two that you know about. Squibs hmm. could have, like, marched out here, taken the ship. Now, and left all of this gear on the ground? Yeah, they probably haven't discovered it yet. Uh, speaking of squibs, uh, Matt kind of did Kimmy's, forget it, you guys are nuts or whatever, but technically we're allowed, instead of, like, Sam making that decision or Sam voicing it because technically Kimmy was about to become a follower. We just decided to let that lie. So Kimmy, you know, yeet, perhaps we'll reach out to Samantha Kerr. On the yeah, she didn't want nothing to do with us after that fiasco no, down no. there. And uh... nope, she goes back to her people and yep. actually they're evacuating like this place. The ground's unstable, like shit's caving in. Like, you know, she later and they're, they're heading back to their camp or whatever. Right. The guys are just running around like it's some kind of a biblical event. Woo! Maybe it'll turn up more garbage for us to worship. Who knows? Merrick, TLXS, Doctor Leth, the three of you are shoulder to shoulder, just completely stunned with what you see before you. It's literally as if someone took the Archelon and. As it was leaving, they just opened the bay doors and let everything slide out on its opening. You know that great shot of the Falcon? Yeah, I'll actually reference it. A thirty uh, TY thirteen hundred leaving, like blasting quickly out away. Whether it's on the Solo movie or or any other movie, you know the, that angle, right? Hmm. You guys have two large cargo bay doors on the bottom of your ship. Just open them up. Everything that's not bolted down slides out. Or maybe we unbolted some shit. I had hours, hours and hours. Right? Oh, my and... Mandalorian poster! Yeah. No! <laughs> it's blowing away in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's had a jetpack fuel to like go chase it. 
You just see him running, doing the moonwalk it, with little spurts it, from what's left of the- it, it flops into like a pool. It's done! <laughs> <laughs> I just, feel like the, the angry ex-spouse just tossed all our stuff in the front yard. <laughs> <laughs> Scanning Why? perimeter. What did we do? What did we do? TLX is scanning the perimeter for e for Rahal's exes. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional damage. Yeah. We get repoed. Did you make the, did we yeah, make oh all God, the payments? Oh, God, somebody sent a re... <laughs> it wasn't the Aiden Project. It wasn't Haas. You guys got repoed. <laughs> somebody finally caught up with Rahal's crap. <laughs> that is a possibility, and I'm not going to say. What I am going to say is the Archelon <laughs> is gone. And your well, your Z95s are in a to heap. Deal with shortly. <laughs> um, go, do you can any go of the Z95s be like flown still? Yeah, I would hope. You got, so. Okay, let's have let's a little montage of mechanics check from Merrick and mm. TLXS. and uh, Jay. Do you want to see to R4 maybe? Uh, yes, I'll check on it. Wake R4. up, lay blame. You know, all that good stuff. <laughs> what the. <laughs> what, what? Well, you can always send a message to TP to come pick us up. Alright, uh, 36 mechanics check. Will TP answer to any of these guys? Well, I guess if you show them the hologram of your corpse. Right? You know, they always have sure that Star Wars. A, a guy leans into the hologram, you have that weird cut blue, you know, hi! <laughs> right? Just show him we're all asleep. I'm in command. Okay. So let's have those rolls, boys. Call them out. Uh, 36. More. That is a... Lots of, lots of junk. <laughs> that is a mechanics check of 30. Okay. 15. 15. Keep coming. 25. Give me three each. Uh, 26. Huh? And, yeah, we could just, well, if you use your jetpack, oh, you can siphon some fuel and just gently ease that nose down. Actually, if you just let go of the boarding clamps on the, you know, I mean, the carousel's kind of trashed. <laughs> it kind of took the brunt of the fall from that one Z95 that's sitting up. I mean, the engine, the burner, the back burner couplings are going to need a little work, but it's intact. And you can use your jetpack to, like, ease that nose down, so that's one. Getting the other one flipped over from upside down? Uh, that's I mean, I mean, the canopy might be a bit wrecked, but, like, we're literally talking about possibly some duct tape from the squibs rebartered and a bunch of mechanic checks to, like, just fix our stuff. Yeah. Or, or I'm not going to let this Star Wars moment pass us by. Wait till we're awake and we'll f use the Force and do the whole, like, lifting the... Uh. X wing out of the swamp. The yeah, no, no, no. But you're thinking the Merrick's gonna wait for you guys to do that. So there's well, gonna be a lot of thrusters. There's gonna be a lot of anger. There's gonna be a lot of a lot of thrusting. So <laughs> to set it up for you guys to come by and do your use that's of funny. new one. Shot. Rahal's like, I got this, and then you just see Merrick in the background pulling on the pulley winch. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's trying, and he doesn't even see the couplings like lifting it over, and you know. Beyond the ship, like in front of the ship, there's poser training him, trying to like he's popping a vein, trying to do it. And behind it, is everybody else pulling on ropes and stuff. It lifts up. Oh, I did it! That'd be great. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, lift it. You know, Merrick hits a button. The jet engines all fire at the same time. It takes off into the lower stratosphere. Stop! 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 No! <laughs> stop! Stop! No! Stop! He goes chasing after it. All right, yeah. stop! No, stop using force! I stop, man! I stop! It's still going up. Stop using the force! I'm not using the force, man! Um, so, with your checks, you guys believe that you can salvage, you know, at least the ships. Uh, Jay, you have equipment? You could just rebuy it, and you could probably use a lot of this paneling and stuff to, like, help patch the ships, like all your data processors and stuff. Your research itself is data on, like... Arthur. Pads, and that you've backed up on Arthur, or put in the cloud, and yada, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You, Arthur has uh, been deactivated and has suffered uh, some leg damage. Uh, but other than that, like from the fall, you know, mm. smashed a little coupling thing, ankles loose and, you know, that kind of shit. But dust him off and get him going. And he wakes up. Well, um, I'm not, I, I, can't imagine you happen to know what exactly happened to the Archelon. 
The head swivels left. Main scope focuses. Focuses right. Takes in its surroundings. The astromech droid looks at you. Greetings. My designation is R4. I am an astromech droid, and it lists its protocols. It's a pleasure to meet you. R4 has been mind wiped. All gone. Factory reset. And hmm. we'll see you next week. No, I. <laughs> Look at their faces. I really feel bad. The <laughs> horror. The horror. The horror. Da, 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 da. That's what it needed right there. Thank you. I'll have to put that in. I mean, to be perfectly honest, if that's if that's what Arthur would start say or R four would start saying, I would just deactivate him again. Okay. He was a good droid. Just lay him back down. We we'll get a new one. It becomes oh, one no, no. the planet. I'll still use him. It just I don't need oh. a baby droid going on about random shit. <laughs> I'd rather just take out the uh, the surgery kit myself and do the whole thing. No, he doesn't go with random stuff. They, like you said, remember how you bought him and they hadn't refurbished him? Well, they refurbished him a bit, but he has basic personality. He hadn't been mind wiped yet. And he had worked for that, hey, I got to sell my droid. Like, you know, the shock jock guy. That's why he was full mm -hmm. personality. This is stock. Now, you know, he's oh, quiet, know until, you know, quiet until spoken to. <laughs> I, I quite, I rather in, grew to enjoy his personality. And as such... Oh. I don't need a just standard normal. Well, now you droid. tell me he was like my character. It was the closest thing I had to a cleric. Well, fine. Maybe if you cared more about me. Why do you think I hadn't mind wiped wouldn't... him yet? I don't know. Because you had backed up all your shit on him? Well, my fault the plot demanded this. Now I'm really bummed. Master, why am I sad? He's just crying oil. I don't understand. <laughs> uh, no, he's turned off at the moment. I don't remember. Still oil's leaking. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Oil. Fluids are coming out of him. No reason. Uh, either way, I've extracted the surgery kit from inside his storage compartment. Yes. And, and... I will go to work. Okay. So can you manually can revivify someone that's put under a force trance? That's an interesting question. I mean, as long as I don't need to actually revivify him, I'm just doing a surgery. Are you just making sure that, you know, when he wakes up, is in better shape. Yes. Okay. Um. Uh, sure. Get out the tarp. Sterilize what you can out here in the field. <laughs> I mean, apparently all of my equipment's here. Triage. Yeah, really. It's like, yeah, you just flip over that cot. <laughs> hey, look, there's Merrick's cot. They unbolted it. Right? Sure, why not? You know. So while well, TLXS America is looking after the heavy machinery, you know, let's wandering around, sort of like placing an open space his lab as it was as best he can. He's almost got like the Les Nessman tape on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. just, so I'm here using hours. some of the duct tape to like make three sure hours. the floor stays down. Yeah, like three hours of like placing all your stuff. Now he's finally ready for surgery, right? They've already got the, the Z95s like pre-flight tested and ready to go. All right. Um, <clears throat> do you guys have a lot of hit point damage going on right now? Yeah, a fair deal. So, um, Jay, like player to player, you know, guys, what would you like? <clears throat> well, I guess it's up to left. Left, do you want to try to do surgery to restore um, the CT damage or hit point damage or what? You know, what's available to you with your skill set? <clears throat> um, well, anytime I I heal hit points, I uh, as long as I'm doing like a general check, I can also. I I guess would surg surgery doesn't count as treat injury, does it? Um, it doesn't count as using a med pack, which can only be done once a day. You can do surgery over and over and over again. Well, yes. What I was getting at is um, I have a, a talent from a while ago called Battlefield Remedy. Wherever I use treat injury, I gain uh, I put someone plus one on the condition track. Oh, well, there you go. Two for one deal. Okay, so give us the. You still use your treat injury skill to perform surgery, as far as I know. So, yes, have at it. Who's first? Um, well, I mean the one that is on the edge of bleeding out. If we hit him with a rock, 
What kind of hit points you got there, Poser? I mean, skill? That's still uh, gonna take a while. Uh, I will just activate my medic scanner and check that. 48 out of 78. He got into your gear and he like taped over the default scanner voice and put his own. So now it's nurse skeel every time you ask your That's computer it. question. It's over 9,000! <laughs> yeah. Much better than option starts, B. Like, starts tapping the scanner. What the hell? That's a new voice. That's, <laughs> I haven't used this in a while. Oh, you missed um, them already. Maybe it's just your subconscious projecting. Um, how about you, Rahal? What are you for hit points? Oh, I'm full. I didn't take any damage. I'm a beast. So, so Actually, I'm a coward. <laughs> this is the truth of it. You go first. No, no, you after you, I insist. You hid behind a little girl. <laughs> like Kimmy. Kimmy in the sled. You hid behind a little girl, you coward. All right. Um, so let's have some rolls from Dr. Leth and make our Jedi all better. Oh, yeah. wait. Speaking of sled, uh, where's A9 and the Master? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they might actually be, be able to bring us out of the force trance sooner well I thought we just stated by the rules that you can't bring somebody else out of a force trance no no I, you, you can't if you don't want to be in a force trance you're not in a force trance oh, that's okay. what it is Okay. you well, can't be held in one no, against your will you can't um, you are helpless once you are in you yeah, can't you, be put in a force trance unwillingly okay yeah. cut to a couple hours ago okay um they came out of the bottom early, wandered off one way. You guys came out the other side, so they're like out of eyesight, okay? Master gets out, sets A9 down, and says, well, I guess he's just you and me. I better have a look around. And he just kind of wanders off depressed, because he had all that burden of Padawan dying and all this stuff. Anyway, as soon as he's away, guess who comes back? for A9. The squibs and the little people, right? <laughs> and they're like, look, there's Kimmy. Yeah, take the droid. <laughs> oh, wait, there's Kimmy. <laughs> Voice of Kimmy. Yes, we want the droid. Of course we're going to take it. Jimmy's like, yeah, let's take the droid. You'll get us something out of this, you know. So your new boss, your, your potential new boss was a coward, eh? Huh? Behind you the whole time, huh? They don't make him like they used to, eh, Kimmy? Had to do all the work. Useless. Oh. Uh, even the big guy with the headlights? Yeah, he kind of helped a little bit. Oh, well. Well, I guess they didn't make it out. And what's with the depressed guy? Where'd he come from? And he cuts to, like, the Jedi Master just kind of wandering off into the plane aimlessly. <laughs> in shock. <laughs> tortured soul found him down the temple when we were there looking around oh has he got anything good on him Should i don't we chase him so. down oh all right well then anyway and there's a nine no please not again no wait master come back and then you guys just see the squib carry off a nine into the sunset back to their <laughs> camp <laughs> meanwhile another sunset direction you know master's going that way <clears throat> back to us so does that answer your question yes Okay. <laughs> now, if you guys want to search for them, go ahead. They're not, no one's very far away, but... So, um, who actually had the idea about digging up said master? I did. Okay. So, player to player. I mean, like, you guys can, as a group, you know, we're kind of in crisis mode here, so even though Aiden's unconscious, and like I say, you guys can't meta that. Aiden the player saying, guys, you know, you want to chase them down, that's up to the awake people. Feel free. <laughs> Any awake people want to check this, like, chase this dude down? Are we enjoying the time out where the kids are having their nap? <laughs> <laughs> um, we're not bad parents when we say we're taking the time out. We need self-care. <laughs> So Merrick takes his helmet off. His accent completely changes. He's not a moron or anything. He's a very intelligent fellow. It's a very sophisticated conversation out of accent with Les the entire time. Yeah. Rawls asleep, you know. God, it's so hard to stay in character. You know how long I've been on this con? <laughs> <laughs> well, he was looking for he was looking for a bodyguard. Five, right? five, five years ago, this guy comes by and says, hey, you want a job, Russian man? I'm like, um, yeah. 
<laughs> I, I think so. five years and run this con. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> because even though that it might have only been like five months in game, these two like were a match set. They came together. He's known him for a while. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, uh, <clears throat> but seriously, did anybody want to chase down this dude or Master? I, I would be busy. Frola. Hmm. Uh, I'm I'm busy. So okay. American I mean, the only are... thought is that he might have noticed our force pings when I was pinging at Rahal. Rahal pinged back. Oh, such that, a I mean, we made quite the bad. show when we got back out of the... Oh. Was it there was a giant explosion and people Three. left. Yeah. Sorry, I'm really up in my own <laughs> explosions <laughs> and he's setting down the droid. Hey, little guy, it's just you and me, eh? Oh, that's that's not good. I wonder if they made it out. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> He wanders around. He said he said he's going to check out the area. So he comes full circle. Okay. Comes back around. Finds the droid gone. Hmm. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Hmm. Anyway, you guys left the area to go to your ship. Unless you guys come back to the temple, he's going to, you know, do what he do. Now, the temple is also in a city. And you guys, like, landed at the spaceport part of this broken-ass city. So it's not like... I, I know there's a field that kind of goes out from here, but... You know, it's not like you just go, hey, and he hears you, and you never gave him a con. Kimmy had the, oh, no, A yeah, A9 Ace, was on comm. A9 has the A9's con. And A9's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so A9 calls you guys up on the open channel. Yeah. I'm being abducted. <laughs> the squibs are taking me. The squibs are... Deactivate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that could be a problem. Mm. Um... Do we really need half a droid? You go Played by Gamma no less? Yeah. Sorry, Gamma. Love you, dude. <laughs> T TLX, could you go f go find... Uh, go take care of that? I'm a little... As I'm positioning tables, I'm a little distracted. Yes, Master. I will investigate. Okay. You find... The two of them were such good friends the first time, so... <laughs> yeah, you find Master Vrlin Thora... Scratching his head, looking down at an empty pile of rubble. I was sure I put him right here on this rock. Okay, maybe this rock over here. Oh, you know, he reminds me of my... P -p -p oh, hello. He sees you fly. <laughs> Comes over. <laughs> Greetings. My master sent me to look for you in A7. Where Your are master? They? And who would that be? Master Leth. He was with us when we found you. Oh, the young little Jedi dude. No, the doctor. He just said your master. Your Jedi yeah. master was... I never said Jedi. You did say master. I said master. And his name was Skeel, right? You don't know who your master is? Who's on first? I don't know. He starts looking at you, reaching out with that mechanics check glint in his eye. Maybe you could use some help there, my friend. You seem confused and disoriented. Come on. I know you want to smack me with those tiny little robo hands. <laughs> Personal space, please. <laughs> Is that what they're for? Just a little yes. shove? <laughs> Protect my personal space. Oh my god, I want to give Doug a force point just for that uh, robo distorted voice giggle he just gave us. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I've never heard TLX actually like laugh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All good. Still my quest for come up with really petty-ass reasons not to give, but give everyone else but Aiden a force point. Anyway, um, do you want to bring him back? Do you want to sell this guy on, like, hey, everybody's over there? You know, that kind of thing. I will be honest. We've talked about things. I am at my weight encumbrance, so I probably can't fly him. I really can't fly much I can myself. walk. I'm not helpless. I'll happily walk him back. But I just wanted okay. to say that, to be honest, so that... You know, in the future when we I'm think about I'm sort of me, mentally huh? unstable. The feet still work. Look. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Want to race? Let's go. 
goes tearing you off just the wrong direction. So we don't put a saddle on you. <laughs> <laughs> I see what happens in your party. Fuck that. You wiggle your finger. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> hey, I got two real authentic thumbs here, eh? I'm very useful. No cyber attachments on this guy. All right, let's go. And he goes running off in the wrong direction. Um, get him back. and So a little while later, Dr. Leth, your um, spy to switch. I mean, your uh, protocol... I mean, your prototype droid, that's the one, comes back with a forlorn, downtrodden-looking Master Roland Thorla. Where did you guys go? I thought you were all dead. What happened here? Looks like a yard sale. Looks around. <laughs> Stuff. Come on, that was funny. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, <laughs> having just lost our ship, it's not entirely entertaining, no. Uh, this would be the room, this would be what we have left of off of our ship. What happened to the Jedi? He goes over to Skeel immediately, picks up his hand and holds him gingerly, looking at him like he instantly goes into that Nightingale thing. It's like, dude, that's not your son, that's not your Padawan. But all of a sudden, you know, what happened? What did you do with my Padawan? Uh, Starts calling see. Skeel by the wrong name. <laughs> Devon, Devon, are you okay? Smack, smack, smack. Wake up, Devon! He was briefly put into a force trance, apparently. Um, oh. Also, he's help. not doing so well medically, so we were about to begin surgery. Oh, no, no I, I will get them out. Anyway, does the old eyes close, lover, forehead to forehead? You know, I see you, right? And then he just starts moving his head, like, slowly up, because of the giant cone head he's got to work with here. Like, I, Jesus, Devon, you've grown. Okay, I get him out. Big force being. Here we go. Look at my stats. Mm -hmm. Oh, down the initial track. God damn it. Did I have to torture everybody in this? Uh, oh, I, I did have a rough year. Um, <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. Use force. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Yep. Anyway, Master Thorn appears on your mindscape. I got in, uh, not powerful enough in my current condition to get you up. And Thorn falls over, and now you have three bodies. Whoopsie. Guys! Oh, there you are, Devon. I found you. Come. We go. And he uh, does like the Superman uh, pose, like he's going to fly out of here. Oh, uh, Master. How did you end up in here? I am in your mind. I am speaking to you both through the Force. You guys have... He starts looking at the sort of semi almas semi red room Rahal and Dina love pen thing scape going on in the back. You guys have very vivid imagination. We have, the sooner I get you out of here, the better. I agree. I blame him. All right. Okay. You. You help. I you too. I blame myself. Oh, you're force sensitive, eh? Turns to Rahal. Uh, yeah, something like that. He reaches out a hand, and I want to gauge, you know, the, the force power, um, I forget what it's called, it's a talent, or you can uh, gauge, gauge their, yeah, he reaches out like he's going to gauge your force potential, and then he's like, yeah, I never learned that, okay, I guess you're okay, <laughs> sit, sit down, I just quickly glance at stats, uh, no, it doesn't have it, um, sit down, okay, come on, cross-legged time, let's go, campfire, here we go, okay, now we all join hands. Come on, it's kumbaya. Get down. Let's go. Okay. Okay. So we guys cross-legged, <laughs> right? Oh, this. Oh, just Jesus. Do you have to vividly like put every rock up my ass to sit down? Like, we're like we're not. This is a place is imaginary. Could you like imagine some cushions? This is very uncomfortable. I can't. I can't work under these conditions. Anyway, boop. He's on a cushion. That's better. All right. Okay. Aid me. Let go, Padawans. Feel the force inside you in your mind in your presence in the now don't worry about the external force since we are inside your own mindscape now aid me and you guys got 18 20 well 19 actually okay here we go Big breath. 
Hold it. Now let it out. Eye pops open slowly. Slowly. All right. Hmm. Well, that didn't work. He starts looking around. I feel that this place, this part of Elmis, is so strong with the dark side. It's like it's sucking everything in. And if if we tranced here, perhaps it's trapping us within our own minds. I gotta say, that really sucks. He starts looking around. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm out of ideas. Slaps his thighs, gets up. <clears throat> I'm gonna look around a bit. Stretch legs. Clear the mind. You two should do the same. You shouldn't sit there all day. That's bad for you. And he just starts wandering off on the planescape. Devin. Oh. Uh, mind your training and stuff. You know what? I, you better not leave my side. Come with me. Come on. Let's go. All right. Follow. Okay. He looks at you. He looks at the top of your head. Have you gotten taller? Oh, you've gone through a growth spurt, Devin. That's good. That's really good. Pats you fatherly like on the shoulder. A very quasi Jedi Master thing to do. I'm just gonna roll with it. Okay. Ah, you um, little en you little enabler, you. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and the three head off into the sunset. Meanwhile, back in the real world. Clear! You guys have, like, set up some electronical equipment, and you're just trying to sh shock therapy the bodies. <laughs> Let's go! Wake up! Really? <laughs> no? Stop being lazy! Why are you laying there the entire time? I mean, Look! To be perfectly honest, he, he's not exactly in the best medical me, me, uh, mental state anyways. Him sleeping might be the best option for all of us. So, what kind of hit points can you give him back there, Leth? With your surgery? Oh. Uh, surgery is not necessarily best known for the amount of hit points it can return to someone. It's mo it's much more convenient for the ability to remove any and all persistent conditions. Well, now, if you work from the outside in, the next time we get around to a role-playing chance for Aiden to use a force himself, he won't have such huge-ass penalties he can pull his own ass out of his head. Or his head out of his ass. Anyway, obviously hmm. Master Throne is useless. So, Leth, save the day. Give me enough rolls uh, that is a to get that CT up. So my tr first treat injury on uh, Aiden on uh, Poser was I rolled a four, but because I have a talent called Exceptional Skill, I treat any ones through sevens as eights. So that is actually a 23, which succeeds the, ch uh, succeeds the check for surgery, removing any, con any permanent conditions. Hmm. Okay. And he gains back his con bonus times his level for hit points. There you go. You got all that skill? Yes. All right. So, uh, as I also have the feat surgical expertise, this uh, the surgery takes a total of about 10 minutes. After which I'll move on to probably the next unconscious patient I have. Okay. Well, you're getting those rolls on. Meanwhile, uh... TL and Merrick are kind of got you like lots of spam for like the mechanics or whatever. Is there anything specific, Doug, that you'd like TL to work on while the master's busy? Merrick seems Sh interested in the ships, but I would like to see whether or not um, there's working communication equipment on the Z95s because I might want to make a phone call. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Jump in. Power up. Now, do no, no, things... not fly away. I just want to. No, no, be no, able no, no. To, like, like yeah. you know, turn, auxiliary power. You know, don't turn yeah. the key all the way to start. Just to aux, right? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. when you guys said, uh, you know, does the power work? How? Uh, what is your evaluation of getting them? You do. They do have power. So you want to make a phone call? Yeah. Okay. So what do you want to call? Who are you going to call? Oh, uh, well, I feel compelled <laughs> to. Da, na, I love da, 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 da. switch. <laughs> Of course you do. <laughs> oh, no. Good RP, man. I like where this is going. Time for my data upload. Sure. Beep, 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 Morse beep, code. Beep, 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 
beep, yeah. beep, 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 I've broken down a ton of gigabyte information into zeros and ones. So three weeks later, <laughs> he's still making this phone call. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we have got he's the record st- time. There's an upright Z95, <laughs> and he's reached into the cockpit like it's a freaking payphone. Okay, I just got to talk to my boss, my real boss. Okay. And, okay. Uh, assuming that I make contact, we just have a nice little binary conversation for a little bit. Okay. And I kind of fill him in. I'm going to say something very meta because I'm sure you guys have been wondering about, well, how wouldn't we know? How would we not know? Okay, your protocol is to gather intel on yourself. The switch is testing you, okay? But the stimulus is this meat bag as my leader, this meat bag as my VIP that I have to protect. Um, this combat situation, like everybody around you, every gun that goes off, every camera that you sneak past, every tunnel, like all environmental and physical and people that you encounter, besides the hardwired red lightsaber run kind of thing, is all data that he wants, all your experiences. So it's almost like it's a like the video monogram of your life being uploaded to him. And then he'll sort through it and and take the data, you know, and there's also statistical data on heat threshold and how many times I got my shields knocked down and all this kind of stuff, all kinds of just raw data. Off it goes. Okay. But when you do it, you have a protocol that makes you forget that you did it until you get to a certain gig amount of data that you feel, again, compelled to upload and send and then forget that you did it. So in your mind, you know, switch was sort of your first matter master and is now saying that you must follow the orders and directives of Dr. Leff as if he were your master until you come back to me. And you feel that like whenever that term of service is done, then you will give your first and final report all in one dump. He's just being cautious. This is not supposed to swindle them or be weird or whatever, but there is something about, you know, because if you got captured by the enemy or taken away from this party that he trusts, your direct, your direct line to switch. And he doesn't want that. That's why you forget all your communiques. Follow me? So it's a safety feature for switch, not a way to screw with them, honestly. So you make your phone call, you do your wide beam, and now what? Then I'm going to inventory if any of my equipment from the Archelon was left in the debris here. Um, you know, my other your, your Your personal power little sta- station. Yeah, yeah. Dumped out like a fridge. It may not be in good shape. You may have to repair it, but, you know. Keeping an eye on Leth to make sure he's still safe, I will gather and reorganize myself. Oh, yeah, no, he's he's here. He's happily doing surgery things. He can keep scanning the perimeter. Nothing seems to be approaching. No life forms. You know, there is sort of some open space here. Okay. Okay. I think that's good. Okay. I thought he was going to call TP. (laughs) Nope. Uh, No, that was good. That was really good. Well, we, uh, well, we're currently just fiddling around with various machinery and people. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be able to contact um, T, uh, TP, would you? Did you just ask me? No, Merrick. Oh, the other, oh, the other. <laughs> he comes up, he's on the phone. You ask me, Master? No, no, no. We don't trust you with this. I mean, you're already on the phone doing something else, but I assumed you're just doing something else. So. Please stay out of accent, Ryan, as long as you can. I love this bit. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It'd be funny if you had a Jersey accent. You just didn't want to, like... You imagine how intimidating Raw would be like with a big Jersey guy? Well, if I sounded like him, he'd never want me to work for him. Well, that what don't the... want to step on any toes, right? Yeah, exactly. He, he, part, part, part as being employable. So... Well, yeah, I'm connected. Which okay. need? I mean, if you could have him bring the ship closer, that would be helpful. Yeah, I, I can send a beep and a doop. You got a doop for a beep? You know what I mean, Doc? Actually, you know, I'm actually kidding, because if you're doing this con, you need to stay in character for all of his associates, right? So <laughs> this all was up in your head, I guess. As fun as this is, technically, we don't want an audience going, so he spoke English in front of Leth and Leth knows, you know, slowly collecting party secrets. I know all about Poser. Now you, Merrick. No, we're not getting into that. All part of your studies, right? Don't forget, you guys are a field study for his work. Can't wait I to mean, get I mean, considering dates. how many times I've, like, off, like, off screen had, like, had them in for, like, a psyche valve. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah no, man right? man man mandatory for being on his ship because that's part of the uh, payroll. <laughs> yes. I have yeah. great medical benefits, but I have to have medical examinations. Yeah. I mean, Rahal just keeps going after female species that may not be too, they may be too, uh, <clears throat> past the age of proper procreation for their ovaries. Uh, <clears throat> and all the pretty women hit on you. So what are you going to do? Anyway. I may leave a trail of ex-wives, but I do not leave a trail of illegitimate children. <laughs> well, you know, there was Smart. that one That's time smart. where, Think where about one, it. one of the wives <laughs> wanted an heir and got you really drunk. I mean, hey, they surprised Batman. Assassin's Guild, or was it Rahul's? Van Assassin, League of Shadows. Yeah, League of Shadows, yes. I was, I was going to say Vincent Van Gogh, but that's, no. That's Vincent Scooby. Van Gogh, no. <laughs> Raz Al Ghul. <laughs> Raz Al Ghul. That's an entirely different story. Yeah, Batman has the, the, the grandson of, of Vincent Price. Is that how that goes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's a zombie. Uh, you oh, know you would totally you get a Damien Wayne. Idea. Oh, no, I got an even better one. Oh, it's a whole oh. bunch of, we'll do a whole new party. And they're all different kids that were fathered by Rahal over the years. Have <laughs> I heard this pitch before? Uh, I know. Well, we're, we're way off from that podcast. I mean, can you can you imagine Shaggy Obras? Yikes! That's a lot of money I got to spend. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> got Jiggy oh. with the dishwasher, and now we have TL. Excess Oberus. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if Lando can be something, something, pan, something, woke, se sexual, then why can't you? Anyway, uh, moving on. <clears throat> Make that phone call, Leth. I mean, Merrick. I mean, God, yeah. I'm so lost. This is All not right, what I had it. planned for season opening. Honestly, like, as soon as we got past <laughs> less surgical roles, I've been winging this. I had not planned <laughs> a dreamscape. I was just like, what the hell? You know, you guys are talking about off script. You know, let's go. This is great. Okay. Long, long, long range communications. I call back ship. Uh, it's in orbit. It's not so fun. You're okay. Yep. Okay. TP answers. Bring down the ship, please. Okay. Uh, I need authorization. No. From me. From Raul Obris. I, this is medic. This is um. Merrick authorization is. Doctor, he, doctor, he, wait, doctor he's embarrassed I, to tell you how far down the pegging line uh, Rahal puts you, so he's like, not first, <laughs> unless you could prove sufficient. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got to prove Rahal is out of the picture, right? Well, let let us right here. Let. I need uh, authorization. Yes. Uh, uh, authorized as best I can. Go bring well, the ship. Okay. Authorized as best I can. Oh, all oh, right. You don't want to say that the code for America so memorize it. Right? He'll record you. Less voice going Delta Alpha Zero. And then he just plays it back. Ha ha. I can do anything I want now. He just plays Doctor's Left. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a suit that he helped build. So there's a button that's conveniently just like, like it's obvious to him. He walks up, presses it, like it turns off all audio functions, all and right, it actually Ryan. generates. I've got to hear your Leth impression, Ryan. <laughs> well, actually, what we'll do is he'll just push the button, like on those old Clone Trooper Halloween costumes, and we actually get Jay to do the some American kind of impersonation of Leth. That's what I want to hear. Yes, absolutely. So what he just annoyingly says, "What do you want in Russian?" Russian <laughs> accent. <laughs> what are we? Oh, Ryan looks tired. No. Don't don't make him work for it. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to think He's of working way. it up. He's working it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking of my like, way. I need a little context here. Some help so we can think tank this. We can think tank this. Turn to okay. page three hundred and ninety-four. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> Professor Snape. Now Left is doing impressions. That's where, that's where Left came from. You don't remember that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. You're you're Snape's love child. We were talking about procreation a minute ago. <laughs> Wow, Snape finally got laid. All right, good for him. Sucked suck he died. <laughs> <laughs> I am a Hufflepuff, says Leth. Okay, let's not even contemplate that. Didn't even get to Ravenclaw. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, no, no, really needing to move on. Um, seriously. <laughs> mm. TP answers. Uh, you guys muddle around with some authorization. Author, author, oh, <clears throat> he says yes. And out of the stratosphere... 
comes. Now, when you look at the Blood Brother, oh, I have a picture. I still have a picture of this. Blood Ta-da. Brother. Ta da! Painted very red. The Red Fury Brotherhood doesn't own it anymore. It um, it is a consular class class starship. Three giant round engines in the back, a bunch of gun turbos, servos on the middle, has a tractor beam. This is the ship from the opening scene of Phantom Menace that Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon Jinn ride in, and it lands with on big feet right into the bay, and it gets blown up, unfortunately. Um, but it's big, but not so huge. This thing breaks atmosphere, comes down, out comes the big feet, and it is big small enough to land over in the spaceport which is close to you guys uh and down she comes and then you know the gate you guys tell him that like you want to board so he drops the gate drops the ramp or do you want just to be here tell him to wait is the location Mm. secure I've been trying new voices. I, I got this free app. I can only say 20 things. And then I have to pay a subscription. Do you like <laughs> this voice? Do you think Master would like this voice? Do you think he would find it pleasing? Wait, I can do Robocop. Citizen. That's, sorry, that's default. Because he is a cop. <laughs> you guys took the cop droid and bought it. Yep. CL11. I'm a CL11. Yep. I can't really make more than one or two appearances per book per season. But here I am. Anyway. <clears throat> he was just there to keep things from boarding our ship and not being interfered <laughs> with because that nope. really sucked. Nope. <laughs> Doing my job. Doesn't drop the gate. No boarding. Nope. 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 <laughs> he lands the ship. He won't let you on it. That's awesome. <laughs> keep things from boarding. That's what Master said. That's how he does it. Yep. That's how he does it. He thinks I'm kidding. No. Okay. He lands the ship right in front of you, but he, that sucker's sealed up until Master's awake. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Doing my job. Doing my job. Well, all he has to do is take me up this, this condition track one. I thought I thought they'd like weekend at Bernie's your ass. Look, he's awake. He wants on the ship. <laughs> we should be able to yeah. escape without when when we're not suffering penalties. I did roll, roll pretty high, but let's have that again. But okay, so meanwhile, back on the dreamscape. So after walking around for a little bit and following the master, I'm just okay. gonna look at him. And then back to a hall. Well, while we're here, you should... Honestly, we should actually work on your training a bit. I mean, it's your lack of training that got us into this mess. Fair point, fair point. Ooh, inner space training. Inter, intermind, intercept, inter astral plane. Mm, I like this. Go. <laughs> Time's relevant, right? You guys, are you bastards trying to like make the most of my little cutscene? <laughs> Sneak in some <laughs> days of training and two hours of unconsciousness. Yeah. Three weeks of coma, actually. No, it reverses as soon as you wake up. It's just right. like, get good, kid. <laughs> Seriously, bro. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, I'll, I'll find a, a smoothish rock, mm-hmm. place it in between us, have us both sit down. All right, reach out with the force and sense what I'm doing with it. And I'll start to slowly lift it up with the force, and I'll place it back down and have him replicate. Do the force thing. All right, now you... Using the force, 26. Home. Virtual success, because we are technically in a virtual reality. Yep. Yeah. Okay. He's liking these. All right. Esther comes back. What you doing? Okay. <laughs> well, I figured we should work on a little bit of training for him and myself while we're stuck here. You know, the even... He says, 
We've been on the same length, wavelength. When I reached out to you with my powers, you've seen me use Sever Force before. He says, you know, it was this half-baked idiot that actually reached on the... practically sucked it out of me. I'm so eager for the four. I'm a little bit concerned about training this one. He, he wants it a little bit too badly. Perhaps we should start with the psych evaluation. And he sits down and the camera fades back as he starts showing you Rorschach blots, Oberus, and starts talking <laughs> about your daddy. Um, Looks like money. Yeah. Money. Skill will go so bored. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a pile of cred chips. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is cash or assets. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, Ooh, that one's the deed to a. <laughs> <laughs> the third is one out. Wait, mommy? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, but, uh, mommy, well, no, well, money. Well, I said money, money. Uh, <laughs> mommy, money. Eventually, yeah, I would get bored enough. I'd move a bit away mm -hmm. and go into meditation myself and just, you know, sit with the surrounding force and just okay. feeling it from allness itself. Now, and then <sighs> we start to probe back up. You, you become a little bit more aware of your conscious body. And it seems a little bit more in tune to you now, not quite so unaccessible. Thank you, Dr. Leth. Yep. So let's, let's have a roll at full power. Full power. 33. His original roll was 36. Would you like to use a force point? I would like to use a force point. Boom. Six for a 39. Okay. Poser fades away and wakes up. We're still doing Rorschach blots. <laughs> still in here. <laughs> Poser, you wake up. There's two unconscious dudes in front of you, but you can hear them in your head. In your head. Sigh. It's money. Uh. Sigh. It's, <laughs> it's it's my first golden pony. <laughs> Sigh. <laughs> On it. In the dark. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, wake up. Starts kicking them, right? <clears throat> yep. Without Poser's influence to hold you there, Matt. Yes. And so I believe, and he, he gives you this logical explanation of why it's, you know, you're too old. Yep. Too old for the training. I know. And you notice Poser's gone. Like, you don't even sense him on this plane. And yet, Wait everything minute. everything's poser. You ever see that crazy, like, neo fantasy scape with, like, the bodies, mannequins and stuff baked into the serenary? It's all poser mannequins and crap. It's like, oh, wait a minute. He's gone, but he's yeah. everywhere. Oh, no. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, um, try to snap <laughs> out of it. All the melting warp clocks and guitars, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, it's there. Yeah. Crazy no. Try to snap out of it. Okay. If I can. Nope. 24. <laughs> Wait, can I not just snap out of it? Yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll come to you. Poser really doesn't want you here. <laughs> We're out. We're all out. <laughs> and then there was just one. Hello. Well, that was very rude. To you. This dude's like ass up, face down. He's still, he's still <laughs> Sitting unconscious, wandering the planescape <laughs> of, you know. And now Dev and I will be together forever. We'll get back yeah. to that trauma problem. <laughs> Master Thrawn's wandering in your head. Great. Can I wake up? Just get him out of my head. Uh, get him out, get him out, get him out. Use force. <laughs> get out, 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 out. Ooh, 20. Okay. So, Rahal. Yes. You get ejected. Oof. And you open your eyes and you see Poser before you. You also see a handsome guy in a pinstripe suit looking confused as you shake your head tails. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> The face you're making, somewhere between Twi'lek and French, on your body as you look at yourself externally from another body. Anyway, you lock eyes with you, you both make the same face, 
Hell no. And use the force. <laughs> Natural 20. Out. I want my body back. You can't pull off those head tails. <laughs> 22. Boot. Boot. Okay, and we're back. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> nope. Nope. It is, fr it is Friday. Time to get freaky. <laughs> nope. Hell no. <laughs> Ugh. So weird. All right. right, everyone's awake. And look, TP's brought the ship down sitting there, though no one's boarded for some reason. Where's the Archelon? You look around, you see the yard sail. Not my baby! No! Uh, at the moment, only one of us is missing, so... I have reorganized guess? our equipment. Poker immediately runs over to the Rancor, and it's just petty. It's... Shh. Okay. Uh, odd or even, we'll see if the Rancor is the one flipped on its back, half-wrecked, or the one that made the phone call that was sitting up still on the carousel. Odd or even, Aiden? Mm -hmm. uh, even. Alright, you roll. I ain't being responsible for... <laughs> <laughs> well, well. This, is, this is the third time I've tried to open those cargo bay doors and, like, get rid of his crap. Even. Successfully. Yeah, there you go. Okay, yours is the one oh, that's, like, heard. attached to the carousel and is better in better shape than... Uh, <gasps> I think the other one's like Rahal's, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, crap. Well, they're fixable. I just, you know, they just got dumped. <laughs> no, they're just like. These are spacecraft, like, just dropping them from 30 to 100 feet in the air, crash. Yeah, okay. It's just like crashing a ship, kind of. I think mm -hmm. Merrick's is parked right over there because he flew down himself, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So his is fine. I'm oh, surprised oh, you didn't go oh, over there for the oh, phone oh. call, I guess. <laughs> so the. the, the Blood Brothers landed. Oh, we got to rename this ship. Merrick's That's flying around. We got to brainstorm this and rename it. I don't like the Blood Brothers. It's terrible. Mer name. Merrick's flying around looking for a ship with the keys. Boop, 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 boop. Where did I put it? <laughs> boop, boop. It was here, I swear. Name what ship? Oh, the Blood Brother. Yeah. Right. Oh, you know what? Brother! I think we will reveal that in the next episode. You guys are on Elmis, mission accomplished, with a holocron, awake, mostly healed, and the ship that you must take home, or ships that you must take home, is not the Archelon. And we will see you all with a Star Wars crawl, opening up episode two next time. <sighs> say goodnight, Kimmy. Night, everybody. Oh, that was great. I think Kimmy gets a force point for that. That was really good. That was really it was spot on, you know, starting off with, no? Yay, we leveled! Soon, my children, soon. I keep the force to myself. Only this time, the monologue's a bit different, Jay. Doing Jay. Jay to center stage. <laughs> okay, uh, oh wait! <laughs> So, um... Send in the dancing frogs, quick! <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Hey, look at the da dancing frog! Uh, did they come for you? Are they at your door? Like, he's freaking out. You ever see those things where the guys get arrested on camera, like, from SWAT teams and stuff? Jay's freaking out. He's looking to the left. He's holding up his finger. Did they come for you, man? What's going on? Uh, no, there was, there was a quick issue to, to, hit, to address. Um, okay. <sighs> Can I get a cue? What are you saying in real life? If he, like I said, this is uh, Poser's coma-induced, twisted, forced stream. It's not actual fact. Things you could be saying in real life, like giving Rahal shit and pumping, going, live for me, could be twisted down here in the realm of under dream. Mm. I was just giving you a chance for some freelance roleplay based on what you may remember from that. I'm going to edit this.